One of the sound effects which always springs to mind, this is one from Dr. No, was um, with the nuclear reactor. Um, you know, when they sort of spin the wheel to create the sound for that. Can you tell us a bit about that one? How that came about? Oh, at the very end, yeah. when Bond knows that... The big danger wheel. That's yeah. 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 Yes, and it's, it's made plain that it's dangerous. Yeah. 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 It's got danger level. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not go above yeah. this point? Yeah. Yeah. Like... yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah, that was probably, of all the films I've ever worked on, obviously the, the most difficult sound, because I needed a machine that, we, that would make a suitable sound that we could look at the screen and synchronise it, so it had to have a control that would raise and lower the, the sound. And um, I, I got very, very close to the point where I was desperate because we were dubbing. We were actually mixing the tracks together and I still hadn't found a machine. And my friends used to say, well, perhaps you ought to go to Cape Canaveral or <laughs> something there. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, I didn't think that was funny because yeah. this was very, very serious. Yeah. And in the end, in desperation, we had this great guy called Jeff Labram who he, he just maintained all the electronics and I begged him to try and make something that would give me a sound that I could control. And even though he said he couldn't, he said he would look into it. And three days before that scene was being dubbed, he called me to the theatre and I, I've never seen a gadget like it. My heart absolutely dropped. I was, really was expecting a, a really piece of complicated, but not this junk of wires and bits. But he switched it on it gave a pulse, which I said is absolutely right, because yeah. it's a nuclear reactor. You can't have any old sound yeah. over a nuclear reactor. <laughs> but this had that deep thumping um, pulse. And then he pointed to this little spindle, and the moment I turned it, I realised that guy had invented a machine. Yeah. And I look back on that and think, uh, I, you couldn't put a price on what he did for me there. Yeah. But that's how Pinewood were. They loved the bonds. Yeah. He obviously went away and sweated blood because it was a bond. He wouldn't have done it for another no. yeah. 